Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the India Today Conclave once again, where we are very privileged to be joined by a couple who I am going to describe today as, in many ways, Jodi number one. He is an iconic figure for India's startup industry and the infotech ecosystem that has exploded over the last couple of decades. She is an award-winning, best-selling author and philanthropist who's now just become a nominated Rajya Sabha MP. Uh, and their power doesn't just extend to this country, but if you want to enter 10 Downing Street, they might well tell you how to get there. So in many ways, they've proven the world is flat, that you can move from Bengaluru to 10 Downing Street without a problem. But what makes them truly, ladies and gentlemen, Jodi number one is their love for each other. An uncommon love that has sustained for 50 years and counting. And to my mind, therefore, they represent some of the best values of India. Ladies and gentlemen, Narayan Murthy and Sudha Murthy join us here at the India Today Conclave. Thank you both very much. I want to start, though. I'm going to ask my producer to just slide, play a little video. Because you've just a couple of days ago, ma'am, been sworn in as a, a member of the Rajya Sabha. There you are, getting sworn in. And I think that is another feather in your cap. <laughs> Sudha Murthy ji, what was it like to now, in your latest innings, that you've decided to play as a Rajya Sabha MP, ma'am? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, this is a new chapter. To me, at the age of 73, I suppose, it's a new lesson, but for learning, age no bar. So let me... So age no bar. Age Mr. no bar. Mr. Murthy, are you happy to now remain in the shadows of your wife? <laughs> well, absolutely, but uh, because right from day one, uh, it was very clear that she was so much superior to me because, you know, as an engineer, I used data. I never got the first rank, never. But she always got the first rank in 10 semesters of her engineering. And at Institute of Science Bangalore, she had got a scholarship to the best technology university in the world to do her PhD. Uh, she was the first woman to go to telco, all of that. So therefore, I had no doubt in my mind that she was truly the better half. You're, you're acknowledging that today, after all these years, because the truth is, Mr. Murthy, when you had the opportunity, you did not make her part of the Infosys startup team. Do you regret that today, that you didn't take your wife as part of the startup team, even though, as you say, she was eminently qualified to be part of it? Well, uh, life is all about learning and improving. Those days, I was uh, an incorrigible idealist. Those days, the standard was family-run organizations, husband and wife, father and son, father and daughter, etc. So therefore, I said, having returned from France, I said, I want to do something different in India. And therefore, I thought one way of doing it is not to make it a husband and wife company, even though she was much more qualified than all the founders. Let there be no doubt about it. So it was a, an act of idealism. It was an act of idealism. Have you forgiven him for it, Sudhaji, after all these years, that he didn't make you part? Because in your book, which has come out, you do mention somewhere that you felt a little hurt. Yeah, uh, of course, because uh, I allowed engineering and a couple of years it has hurt me, maybe two to three years. I felt it, I wish I could have been. But when I look back in life now, good, I did not become part because I would have retired as a director of, technical director of Infosys probably. But I, I, I touched many lives in real life through Infosys Foundation, and I value it much more than any other position. 
So I feel helping others, being compassionate to others is more important than any position. Probably God closed one window for me, but he opened many doors, I consider that way. And I'm going to play some photographs. Yeah. And we're going to start with the early 70s, when over books, the two of you fell in love with each other, and that's your marriage day. That's our marriage, and within 800 rupees, we got married. In 800 rupees? 400 and, each. And you thought that he would look like Rajesh Khanna? No. That was very clear. I knew him. Okay. I thought so when I, before meeting him. After meeting him, I said, no. Rajesh Khanna is Rajesh <laughs> Because when you first, it, it was love over books, Mr. Murthy. You, you wooed your wife with, your, uh, with the fact that she was a bibliophile and that is what seemed to attract you. But you have any memories of this special day? Well, I think she walked into the, my room. I was sharing a room with a family in uh, Pune, Deccan uh, Jamkana. She walked in, she was full of enthusiasm, she was very talkative, a lot of confidence, all of that. And uh, I knew that the only hope I had of uh, uh, impressing her was my impressive array of books. And uh, I had some very unusual authors. George Mikesh, who is a Hungarian English comedian, you know, uh, humor writer. And George Mikesh. George, yeah, Mikesh. And she was uh, very much impressed by George Mikesh, not so much by me. And that was good enough for me. So the way to a woman's heart is sometimes through books, to the point where Mr. Murthy, you once took, of course, once love blossom, 11-hour train journey, traveling ticketless, because by then you were missing your wife. Yeah. Uh, so no, you she were, was not yet my wife. She was not yet your <laughs> wife, that's right. So it's okay to fall in love, spend time wooing a, a woman, and not necessarily have a 70-hour work day, right? Work week, right? <laughs> Nothing wrong. Because a lot of younger India today believes the moment you said you must mandatorily have 70 hour work lives, they said, what is Narayan Murthy talking about? What about work life balance? Well, you know, coming back to those wonderful days, I had just returned from France. I was somewhat bohemian. And uh, I had no worries in the world. I had joined a think tank, NGO. I took half the salary they offered. Uh, and uh, the day I met her, I wanted to meet her more often. We would go to a restaurant, uh, not restaurant, a fruit juice shop called uh, Dakshin. No, da what is that? Darsh Darshan. 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 In Pune. And I would go she would order a queen size orange juice and I would order a king size banana juice, banana milkshake and we would be sitting and of course uh, once in a while I would say Abhina Javo and all of that, you know, <laughs> Chodo Kar, <laughs> Dil Abhi Baranai and all of that. And one day one of the bandhus, I mean the servers, the waiters were called bandhus, he came and said, you know, I know you say a lot of true things, but this one is not true. You have been sitting here for four hours. <laughs> Would you please vacate it now? You know, so it so, was. So, it so, was so did you all grow up, Sudha Murthy? I, I mean, in these years of uh, falling in love with each other, did you, uh, a more innocent age, the 1970s, holding hands in a cinema theater was seen as the maximum in public display of affection? Was that how... It was a more innocent age, wasn't it? Yeah, because uh, we never had uh, Infosys. We never thought of any, uh, anything more than being happy, going around in a nice city like Pune. But my life drastically changed when Murthy started Infosys. It was no longer the happy days in Pune. It was a responsibility, uh, commitment, to, you know, uh, and... Uh, Building a company is not a joke. It requires a lot of sacrifices from the family, support from the family, and a lot of uh, 
give and then take. So the whole life changed once it came to Infosys. You know, but love blossoms and this entrepreneurial journey grows almost simultaneously. And there is this wonderful, incredible story, Mrs. Murthy, uh, that you talk about or we all now know about how you gave 10,000 rupees from your account. That's all you had in your savings account and you gave it to your husband to start off his entrepreneurial journey. It is perhaps the most valuable 10,000 that anyone has given their husband. I mean, what prompted you? You had faith in this man, this bohemian man that you had fallen in love with? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, there are two things. Number one, when I got married, my mother told me, you know, we are both come from a middle class family. We are not from rich family. We are all come from a salaried families. So my mother told me without spend money with great care and save some money without husband's knowledge. And this money should not be used for jewels or the saris. Only in emergency you should use it. So I saved every month some money and it was in a box I did not even calculate, count. <coughs> when Murthy said, I want to start a software company in 1981, uh, I told we have good, good jobs. Both of us had very good jobs. We had our own daughter, Akshata, by that time. And I said, why do you want to start? Murthy knew that I'm very fond of history, so he wants to prove that historically, then I will agree. He said, when there was the Industrial Revolution, uh, we were the colonies of uh, other country and British country, uh, Britain, and we could not prosper because industrialization took place there. We only became the raw material suppliers. Now the second revolution has come now, that is software revolution. So if we miss this boat, we will never become legally, ethically rich. And this is the only way Indians, middle class people with good educational background can do something. So he said, if you help me out, I will start a company. I said, I don't have too much money because uh, uh, you are salaried people with a lot of responsibility. He said, if you don't agree, then I cannot start. I want, you should wholeheartedly accept this, then only I would like to jump into this. I thought over it, it was a Wednesday evening. Thursday morning I counted, it was 10,250. I'm not good in economics, you know, I'm good in engineering, but not in economics. The only investment I've made in life is 10,000 rupees. That's all. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the best investment you ever made. Uh, I told Murthy, look, here is 10,250 again I kept inside because you, I never knew this man would be successful or not. Because he had his, before that he had his own company, Softronics, he was not successful. So I took a little bit of risk and I said, take this money. I assumed I will write off a cure. He may not be or he may be. If he is, well and good. If he is not, it's also well and good. Then he told me, okay, be ready for the bumpy ride for the next three years. Okay, I'll, I myself will be very busy and with this money I will start. That's how I gave 10,000 rupees. It's, as I said, one of the most valuable 10,000 rupees that anyone, any wife has given her husband. <laughs> I'm going to ask my producer to put up another couple of pictures because uh, family life begins and I don't know about the holidays that you all spend. Where is this? Mr. Murthy, did you take your wife on, uh, this is the first foreign holiday that you all ever did? You all went overseas? Where was this? Yes, I think... Uh, no, you know, Murthy, 1990, 1979, 79. went to America first time yeah. on work. This is in Greece in the yeah. year 1996. Yeah. We, we took Akshata, and a whole of us went. I was very keen, I'm, a, I'm very fond of history, so I told we should go to Greece. It's in Greece. Because you have a reputation that you are, uh, you don't... Like you'd like to travel, e there were all these rumors about how you prefer to even travel economy, not business class. Yeah. Is that true? Well, uh, till we reached uh, a age. billion dollars of revenue and about 280 million dollars of net income, that is after uh, tax profit, uh, we had said, we are going to travel economy, international, domestic, doesn't matter. However, at that time, some of the younger people came to me and said, look, 
we have made so much of sacrifice, all of this. Why don't you be a little bit more relaxed? And that's why we shifted to business class. But till then, the independent directors were given first class. So independent directors oh, travel first class absolutely. while you travel the economy. Absolutely, absolutely. Anyway, <laughs> so that's when we shifted to business class. We used to stay in very seedy hotels in uh, New York, in New York, even in <laughs> Delhi here, near the old uh, railway station, uh, there used to be a hotel called Nataraj. When, <laughs> when I came to get the license and all, I mean, we, we, we were quite happy. I think at the end of the day, what is more important than is, is your mental happiness rather than physical comfort. You know, that is uh, because you all, uh, for a while, stayed in a small one BHK oh, absolutely. Uh, when you first got married yeah. with a common toilet. Of course. That's where it all started. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then, of course, Infosys takes over your lives. And uh, there is a poignant moment in your Uncommon Love book where you uh, miss your son's birthday, Rohan's birthday, and he asks you, who do you love more, Infosys or me and Akshata? Well, when I told them that I did love the, my daughter and son, they didn't believe me. It was very clear. <laughs> they just smiled and went away. I, I, I'll play what uh, uh, Rohan said. We've got something that Rohan has to say to you all. And, and listen in to what your son uh, had to say, uh, who's now at the moment in London. Okay, I'm going to ask them to uh, increase the volume. Okay, we'll try and get that audio of, uh, of, of Rohan Murthy in a moment. Uh, but is that the sacrifice that you've had to make in a way? That your children missed out because you were on your entrepreneurial journey? You know, I'll tell you, my, when I returned from France, I must be one of the very few people who left a Western country and came back to India. I had a very aspirational uh, uh, target. I said, I want to conduct the first experiment in India on democratization of wealth. I want to create a company of the professional, for the professional, and by the professional, as Abe Lincoln defined US democracy. I want to demonstrate in India that even people who have no connections to the government can succeed. I want to create a company that will compete itself with the best in the world. So these were all very aspirational, noble, uh, you know, objectives. When you have such a thing, uh, there is no sacrifice because you are all the time focused on that target. So we never felt anything. You never felt. Let's hear what Rohan had to say. I was there, why should worry? I feel I'm proud of in terms of my identity. I, in, I, it's come from trying to emulate him. And this is far before there's any success in his life. I mean, a very important role model. I, I don't want to make it sound like my father is the best and so on, but in my limited sort of life, uh, um, all things that I consider a very important part of my identity come from my father um, and my mother, of course. Uh, but I think I'm more influenced by my father. You know, uh, but Sudha Murthy ji, it's not just Rohan now. Now you've got Akshata. We have some lovely family photographs of holidays that you all took together. Uh, and now she's out there uh, as the wife of the British Prime Minister. Is it true that you told the immigration authorities uh, when, you had to, uh, when they asked you in London when you arrived, where are you going to go and stay? And you really told them 10 Downing Street? Yeah, because that is the official address and... Uh, my son also stays in London. I won't remember these codes, you know, N5, H7, O, uh, the British code. I won't remember that. So I was wondering, with my, my sister was with me, which, which address we should write, whether it is the Rohan's address or her address. So when we were debating, so I said, okay, 10 Downing Street or something. Like that. And you put 10 Downing Street. Yeah, no, at the end I... And what did the immigration officer no, say? No, the better is to put my son's address. You know, because then a lot more questions will not be asked, you know. <laughs> so, 
So they felt very funny. Actually, me and my sister are arguing which address we should put it. 10 Downing Street or 11 Downing Street or what is that? But funny. you know, these are lovely pictures. I want to ask you, what is your message to young couples? Both, are, you know, the couples may be fierce professionals, but also want to, you know, have a strong, conducive family life. How do you do that? How do you achieve the love, work-life balance? Okay. When you are married, you are bound to fight. Number one, accept that. If they say we have never fought, then you are not husband and wife. Okay. Number two, when you fight, one person is upset. Second should be cool. Second should not open their mouth. When Murthy is angry, I will never talk. I said, let him pour out what he wants to. Okay. I'll keep quiet. When I'm angry, he keeps quiet. But in real life, I keep quiet most of the time. Okay. You should never get upset together because that is the recipe for further fights. Third thing is, it's a life is give and take, you know. It is no, there is no perfect life, there is no perfect uh, couple. Some plus, some minus. He comes along with that plus and minus, I come with my own plus and minus. Please understand. Number four, I want all men of this generation should help their wife in the kitchen. It's very important. <laughs> Only wife should help. She should be a software engineer, come back, cook. She should attend PTA meeting. No. You have to share the burden of your wife. Then only the family can... Because you stay in a city and you are young, both of you have aspirations, but you have to share your difficulties. And all men normally talk, oh, my mother was a great cook. Because she was not working. <laughs> then she will cook whole day. If your wife is working, then you expect she should be like your mother. It is not possible. So please understand, your wife is always dear to you. Can, okay. I, can I ask both of you in conclusion, what's the biggest regret and what's the one proud moment you most cherish? You start first, Mr. Murthy. What's your biggest regret after all these years of marriage and love and setting up Infosys? Your biggest regret and your proudest moment? Well, I, I don't know if I have any regrets because right from day one, we operated Infosys as an enlightened democracy. There were certain highly daring things that we didn't do. We could have done them if we were not, a, we didn't operate like a true democracy. So to some extent, maybe our growth was somewhat less than what we could have achieved. It's not a regret, but that's one. And your uh, proudest moment? Proudest is really when I sat in front of those scorching uh, lights on, the, on a high stool in, in NASDAQ uh, when we became the first Indian company to be listed on NASDAQ. I think that was, in, in some sense, we were doing something that had not been done, you know, in many senses, we had, that had not been done at all from by an Indian company. That was. Sudha Murthy, your one big regret and your proudest moment. Regret is I never learned swimming. I feel bad about it. Because I come from an area where drinking water was so difficult to get, forget swimming. I always feel, when I look at swimming pool, I say, oh, so much water is there, we can use it. <laughs> it never comes to me that I can jump into that. It never comes to me. And your proudest moment? Um, when I helped Devdasis, 3,000 of them who were sex workers, converted them and rehabilitated them to normal life. That was the proudest. I, that day, that day my wish list became empty. That day I said, okay, now I can converse with God saying that I served your children very well. I don't have any desire in my life. No okay. desire. I, I know that you all love books and we are going to have a book signing with them for those who would like to have the Uncommon Love sign. But you're also a movie buff. You used to watch what? Lots of movies. 20 what? movies a month. So no. should we end with a nice duet from the 1970s? We are all, I mean, I like to see myself as a child of the 70s when music was quite brilliant. Is there a favorite song that you want to tell us? A love song that typifies love? Oh, there are many are there. 50s. Oh, which, and anything that, if today you had to sing to... Kora Kagastha Man Mera. Dilip Kumar, sorry, Rajesh Khanna and Rajay, yeah, say, can, no, I can't sing. I, I Kora Kagas Tha Yeh Man Mera, Likh Gaya Naam, Isme Tera. 
That is a beautiful song. See, she sings it, then you have to respond. No, I'm huh? already, I thought I already. Yeah, yeah, sorry. You know, <laughs> Abhina Jao Chodkar. Uh, that, you know. Abhina Jao Chodkar ki dil abhi. Bhara nahi. Are wow. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know, that, that in a way typifies their relationship. <laughs> because it is what, how many years and counting now? I know me Murti 50 years. We are married for 46 years. So you're about, to, you're about to reach a half century, but you knew each other 50 years ago for the first time. You're celebrating your half century and it's been a remarkable journey from uh, those days when you had your banana milkshake and your orange juice yeah. to today uh, being on NASDAQ and being a Rajya Sabha MP. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Sudha Murthy and Narayan Murthy, truly inspirational and truly people who represent the best values of India today. Thank you. Rajdeep, you are, fa you are father of a well-known cricketer. Yes. So it's a good partnership in cricket, I suppose. Half a century at least we have scored. Yeah. Well, well, you. Well, when you have a cricket partnership, you're supposed to score a full century. So <laughs> okay. may you score a full. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please Thank put you your very hands much. together for the Murtis. And may I please request them to honor us and launch the India Today Coffee Table book. I'd like to invite on stage Mr. Sudhakar Rao, Director ICFIA, to join the Murthys for the launch of India Today's Coffee Table book. It's the best of India, a collection, a celebration of the very many things our country has got right in its independent existence and the many famous Indians who've made our lives happier, healthier, more prosperous, and just plain better along the way. From our culture to agriculture, dance to Bollywood blockbusters, victories on the battlefield to the Olympic podium and much more. The best of India. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise a warm applause. Right after this book launch, the Murthys will be launching their own book and signing their own book right outside An Uncommon Love. There are copies that are available for sale in the pre-function area. You can meet them there. May I please call upon stage Rushali Malpekar Motwani Jadeja Foundation to come up on stage and present a small token of our appreciation right after this quick photo opportunity, ma'am. Just 10 seconds. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the Murtis, put your hands together. May I please call upon Rushali Malpekar, Motwani Jadeja Foundation to come up and present a small token of our appreciation. This session was sponsored by Motwani Jadeja Foundation. <laughs>